and Indian national Hamid Nihal Ansari, who returned back home yesterday after spending six years in a Pakistani jail, has spoken exclusively to Weon. Ansari reached India last evening after completing his imprisonment uh, sentence in Pakistan. Take a listen in to what he shared with our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddhant Sibyl. We're leaving you with this conversation. Thanks for watching. With me is Hamid Nihal Ansari, who is back from Pakistan after uh, being in jail for almost six years. My first question to you is, what's your first reaction when you saw your mother at the Wagha border? Please, that, that's an emotional thing. I cannot express any words because after six years, I had seen my parents. It's not even like... We had photo I was under heavy restrictions. So after six years, you know, I was just, like I said that I was about to complete the formality. The paper documents were still remaining, the gates were closed. But as soon as the gates opened, I saw that my parents, my brother and Jatin uncle were out from the ceremony side. That moment I broke up. And I was like, okay, my mom is here and I want to, you know, I'll break all barriers and I want to reach there. So there, there was an adrenaline rush, it was an emotional rush and out of words. What will you say to the governments of India and Pakistan because you have become a symbol of so many prisoners languishing in each other's jail? Uh, see, it's like uh, even if I have become a symbol, the efforts were done by Indian government as well as Pakistan government. The judiciary, the human rights, everyone took a positive step towards mm -hmm. it. So my message to both the governments will be that please do all the good jobs for all the people towards your citizens and towards our citizens. Mm. Because humanity is bigger than any religion. Mm. Humanity is bigger, bigger than anything and all the religions teach humanity at all. Mm. So I would say that please help our people reach home to their parents, their family and we will also definitely help their people to go and go home to their family. What were your conversations with the Indian External Affairs Minister? We saw those visuals, emotional visuals, uh, the Indian External Affairs Minister hugging your mother. Uh, See, like uh, I said, uh, the External Affairs Minister uh, Sushma Swaraj uh, I was told that she has helped me a lot. Obviously, like uh, I was unaware of all the efforts that was happening back in India. Mm. But when I came to know that so much efforts were done by so many people, mm. so obviously I was like, I, you know, in debt to them. Mm. But when I met her, Sushma Swaraj so first of all, my mother stepped forward and she met. Mm. The way Shushma Swaraj, Madam, you know, she welcomed everyone. Mm. And the moment I stepped forward, mm. Madam did not touch my hands. Mm. She just hugged me like a child. Mm. And she told me, Beta wapas aage, Mubarak ho. Mm. So that motherly love, that made me, that touched me and I was emotional at that time. So what was your period inside that Pakistani jail was like? I know it was not a pleasant experience to share, but can you just share us the details? Was uh, Were the moments also of hope that you will be out soon? See, I cannot give you the de details of it. But uh, the thing is that initially when I got arrested, I lost all hopes that even I can think of going back. Mm. I did not even think of that I'll go home ever. Mm. I started praying for my parents. I started praying for my loved ones. Mm. But then suddenly, I don't know, somehow it was a miracle. Almighty, he gave this hope in me that no, don't worry, one day you'll go back. Mm -hmm. So start. I started praying, praying, praying because I knew that crying and, you know, screaming and banging my heads on the wall, that is not going to give me any results. Mm. So it's better I start praying. Mm. It's Almighty who hears everyone. So hopefully he'll hear me also. Mm. And I knew that my parents, my family and my friends, they will do something for me. Mm. So, okay, fine. All the combined efforts and all the combined prayers, it gave a good result. But do you regret the decision which you took going to Afghanistan and then crossing over uh, to Pakistan and of course wasting six years of your life? See, my intentions were never against anyone. Mm. Not even a single person, not even against a tree or something. Mm. My intentions were only to go there to rescue my friend. Mm -hmm. But uh, the decision that I took, the step that I took, the mm. method that I took, mm. that was wrong and he accepted. Mm. And uh, I repent on it because I wasted a lot of time on it. Mm. But as you can say that a mistake has to be punished. Mm. So I committed a mistake and I was punished for it. Mm. That's all I can say. So my last question, what's the future? What are you planning? Is marriage on the cards? Definitely marriage is on the cards. If my parents permit me, 7-8 will be in the list. Just jokes apart, but obviously marriage, job, everything, career mm -hmm. and obviously helping because I can understand the feelings that people have mm -hmm. when they uh, spend a time in the prison. Mm -hmm. So 
इनशाला इनशाला आई विल बी लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू ज्वाइन जतिन देसाई साहब टू हेल्प द पीपल At least to go back. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. So that was Hamid Nihal Ansari speaking to Vion exclusively, and of course, uh, narrating his experience, and of course, thanking both the governments of India and Pakistan uh, for the, the fact that because of the relentless efforts, he is back here in India with his family. With video journalist Sanjeev Sadhan Sibal for Vion World is One in New Delhi.